Yeah, somehow we're all crazy enough to try and make a first-person shooter in seven days. That genre is so oversaturated and boring nowadays. Let's try and bring some beautiful new stuff to the world of shooters. First-person shooters have stagnated a lot in the last decade. Um, we're drowning in sequels and a lot of the innovation has gone out of the genre. When you're working on your project, you should definitely focus on scope and scale. You want to keep things small enough so that you can actually make a complete game. Something with a beginning, uh, basic win conditions, and basic goals and obstacles. Um, make sure your, your core mechanic is really fun and do that first. It's easy to get distracted with a lot of other things, but if your core mechanic isn't fun, then your game's not going to be fun. And finally, um, save time for polish. Seven days goes really, really quickly, and you're going to use every second of that time but save some time for polish. You want to try and finish your game and then have time to go over things a few times so you can get rid of some of the rough edges. <laughs> uh, my name is Christian Allen. You may know me from games like Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter and Halo Reach currently working on the tactical shooter uh, takedown. And if I had any advice for aspiring shooter developers, it's stick to the basics and focus on the mechanics. Nobody's gonna care about your cool characters or this great world you've developed if the core gameplay sucks. So get the basics right, uh, get it polished, and uh, get it done. Greetings from Crow Team. We wish you all the best and can't wait to see your brilliant ideas. Stay serious. First, remember that the player is going to spend 90% of their time moving and shooting. So make sure that part feels right. The gun is how you interact with the world. Making the gun feel awesome is of the utmost importance. And this can come down to things like animation and sound and uh, graphics. So like I remember a time where a gun was sounding kind of wimpy. We added a lot of bass into the sound, changed nothing else, and it went from like the weakest feeling gun in the game to the strongest feeling gun in the game. Also, remember that the controller is kind of an extension of the player and what they're trying to do. So make sure your controls are as tight and as focused as possible. Um, FPSs are really about reaction, so you don't want people fighting your controls. And finally, just focus your energies on the one interesting thing you're doing and don't get caught up in what the big budget shooters are doing today. Don't make a traditional FPS, you push what FPS can mean. Try something original and new with your game and don't be scared to fail. I'd like to leave you with one last piece of advice, which is please, during these seven days, bathe. Uh, even if you live alone, bathe daily for the good of the world. We don't need to keep this stereotype of the stinky unwashed game dev up. I often hear people say, there's not enough innovation in modern shooters but now's your chance to actually do something about it. If you focus on just one key idea, I bet you can get a good prototype done in just seven days.
good luck. Um, I wish you guys all the best. Good luck, guys, and we look forward to playing your games. Let's do this.